हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड Z ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सम यूजफुल सीक्वेंसेस नाउ लेट अस सी द Z ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ यूनिट इंपल्स रिस्पांस द यूनिट इंपल्स रिस्पांस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज डेल्टा ऑफ n एंड इट्स Z ट्रांसफॉर्म कैन बी गिवन एज 1 and roc is all the values of z so roc will be on entire z plane if we have delta of n minus n not the z transform will be z to the power of minus n not and roc will be magnitude of z greater than 0 if we have delta function delta of n plus n not so we'll have a z transform as z to the power of n not and roc will be magnitude of z less than infinity now let us see the z transform of unit step function unit step function can be represented as u of n for this if we perform z transform we will get z transform as z divided by z minus 1 for this the roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1 if we have the function minus u of minus n minus 1 for this if we perform z transform again we will get z transform as z divided by z minus 1 roc will be magnitude of z less than 1 next let us see the exponential function the exponential function can be represented as a to the power of n u of n for this if we perform z transform we will get z transform as z divided by z minus ye here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than magnitude of ye and if you have the function minus b to the power of n u of n for this if we perform z transform we'll get z divided by z minus b here roc will be magnitude of z should be less than magnitude of b next let us understand unit ramp function it can be represented as n into u of n z transform for this function will be z divided by z minus 1 whole square here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1 next we'll see the sinusoidal signal we can represent sinusoidal signal as sin omega n u of n for this if you perform z transform we'll get z into sin omega divided by z square minus 2z cos omega plus 1 here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1 if we consider cos omega n u of n if we perform z transform on this we will get z minus z cos omega whole divided by z square minus 2z cos omega plus 1 here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1 now let us understand complex sinusoidal function it can be represented as alpha to the power of n sin omega not n u of n if we perform z transform on this we will get z minus alpha sin omega not whole divided by z square minus 2 alpha 
cos omega naught into z plus alpha square here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than magnitude of alpha and if we consider the function alpha to the power of n cos omega naught n u of n for this if you perform z transform we will get z minus alpha cos omega naught whole divided by z square minus 2 alpha cos omega naught z plus alpha square here roc will be magnitude of z should be greater than magnitude of alpha so these are z transform of some useful sequences which are very helpful in solving the problems remember these sequences and z transform as well as roc so that it is helpful for us to solve the problems hope you have understood the topic thank you